Someone very wise once said, forgiveness creates a feeling of wholeness. It is freedom for the spirit. Well, that person is this month's Make a Difference winner. In fact, she and her entire staff at the Candles Holocaust Museum in Terre Haute are helping to shape young lives and teach all of us about a horrific time in history. On the outside, it's just a brick building along Highway 41 in Terre Haute. But inside, you'll find hundreds of young people intently listening to living history. But what I discovered for myself was life-changing. On this day, 160 students from Newton and Charleston, Illinois, get a first-hand look at the Holocaust from survivor Eva Kaur. The kids let us interrupt their field trip with a surprise. On behalf of WTHI-TV, I'm going to come over here and William Brothers Healthcare Pharmacy in Vincennes. Eva, we would like to present to you and the entire staff the Make a Difference Award for all that you do for children and teaching all of us the importance of forgiveness. So congratulations. So when you do the right thing, you not only like yourself, but you are rewarded with people like Channel 10 bringing us this award. Eva Kaur has been telling young people to do the right thing for the last 38 years. In fact, over 7,000 students visit the Candles Holocaust Museum each year, all to hear Eva's amazing story of survival and forgiveness. Eva was only 10 years old when she and her twin sister Miriam were taken prisoner by Nazis. Thrown in a concentration camp in Auschwitz, subject to horrific Nazi experiments, injections, and testing. I like your dress up nicely. Thank you. I noticed that. But her journey is now more about forgiveness. Forgiveness for you, the victim. Teaching young people that if she can survive a difficult time, so can they. To give any young person who is so unsure of himself or herself an ability to look at themselves and realize that they can make something out of their life. This right here. 95 year old museum volunteer Walter Summers walked us through his experiences. Walter says he is a witness to the beginning of the Holocaust. He was only 18 years old on November 9, 1938, when 30,000 Jewish men were arrested and sent to concentration camps. One of those men was his father. I've been a student, I've been a student of the Holocaust, a student of history for many years, and I was kind of uh, impressed with the work that Eva Kaur was doing. We are all impressed with the work of Eva Kaur, her staff, and the Candles Museum, an educational gem in the Wabash Valley, inside and out. This Saturday, April 30th, the Candles Museum celebrates its 21st year in operation. That anniversary is in conjunction with National Holocaust Remembrance Day.